Even with the pimple, we're fabulous. Don't let the haters stop you from doing your thing. <laughs>
give me some depth. It is blending really nice. You know, sometimes when you put too much product on or something, it starts caking up and looking nasty. It looks good. And it's giving me a very dewy finish. As you can tell, this looks like a very natural dew. I like the dew in the morning gently rest upon my face. I like the dew. I know a lot of people don't do the dew. So I'm going to powder, set under my eye area. This is a hourglass brush and I'm using the Huda Beauty setting powder um, in the color Blondie. This still kind of has a dew to it. So I think this foundation really is meant to be dewy. Um, if you do have oily skin, you can still set it with powder, but it is going to give, still give you that dewy look. I like this foundation, wow. It's giving me a very nice gleam. Flower gleam and glow, let your power shine. I'm really enjoying thus far. What do the highlighting balms do? But the balms are also in a stick form. They look like this. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the foundations up close. This is what the foundation looks like. This is what the balm looks like. So it is more of a, a shiny finish to the packaging so that you know it's, what the difference is. This is the Touch Flesh Highlighting Balm. Ooh, look at that. On bare skin or over foundation. Provides a sheer luminous goodness. Okay, so we can put it on top of our foundation. Let's let's try that. This is Twitch Squeeze. Squeeze is obviously more of a bronze color. Better for deep skin tones. That's what it looks like. Oh, this one is pretty though. Look at that. But I'm gonna do Twitch. Um, and I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna try it on my cheekbones first, just to see what it does. It's a very nice and natural look. It's not overbearing. It reminds me a little bit of the matchsticks, but just not as matte. Um, I'm gonna blend it out and see how it does blending wise. Just ignore this pimple right here. <laughs> uh, Alexa, get rid of this pimple. So yeah, that's a very natural, wow. It doesn't even look like I applied anything. It just looks like I'm naturally glowing from within. So we've got glisten drops in the color Vibrate. And the glisten drops are uh, liquid drop highlighter drops that enhance and illuminate the skin. Oh, the um, highlighting balms were $18 and the glisten drops are $28. So these are $10 more, but I think you get a little bit more bang for your butt. I think you're gonna get a little bit more highlighting. Um, but these are the two colors. We've got Whisper and Vibrate. It is a dropper situation, like so. Oh, this is very, so it's not creamy at all. The other, the balms are more creamy. Wow, that's pretty. It's not super, because you can see it's not dripping down my hand fast. So it's not very, very liquidy. So as you can see, these two look very similar, but one is just a little bit of a different texture. I don't think you need both of them. I think one or the other just depends on what kind of formula you like. If you like cream stick formula or if you like liquid highlighter formula. What I like about liquid highlighter formula is that you can mix this in with a liquid foundation or other liquid products. So they're a little bit more multi-purpose. Some people, it just depends on how you like to apply your makeup. Some people like to just swipe and go. If you're a swipe and go, you wanna get the stick. If you are a do your own thing, DIY type person, you would definitely want to get these drops because they're definitely a great way to play around with your makeup, so. Oh yes. You know, to each their own. But I really like the way I'm glistening right now because it looks very healthy glow and natural. This is definitely a glow from within brand. I like it personally. I love stuff like that. And plus when you put stuff like this on and then you want to do extra, 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 you can definitely put that on top and it'll look banging. So there's the Tender Flesh blush. And this is the packaging. I love this packaging. It's very 70s reminiscent or 60s. Maybe it's 60s, 60s or 70s, one of those. It does have a retro vibe. These are the blushes. Um, this is the color Caress, this color Glaze. Let me show you guys what they look like. And as you can see, it has like a little fingerprint on it. Isn't that cute? This is Caress. So those are those side by side. This one looks like more of a neutral natural. Very, I don't wear makeup friendly. Like if you are a makeup finesser, like you don't wear makeup like that, this whole line is for you. It was made for you. I'm gonna use this blush brush and just kind of like pop some of this onto my cheek. And that was the color 
caress and correct caress like i said it's very natural i like it though i'm kind of scared to apply this other one though because i don't want to apply too much so i'm going to use a lighter brush to apply it i'm just going to tap that on top just to give me a little bit more color i probably put on too much but i want to show you guys the products you got to see what it is you got to know what it is i'm also really into dragging out my blush on my eyelids um because i feel like it gives a very playful look it just kind of brings everything together so i'm just gonna put that on my eyelid area we're just gonna disregard that bump shawty want to play she can play too i'm gonna use this highlighter and this is the flat flesh to flesh highlighting powder and this is the color rise this is the flesh to flesh highlighter an uncommonly soft almost creamy pressed powder that contains crushed minerals and fruit extracts you better be fruity it says, run your finger over this powder. Can you believe how soft? It contains coconut and sunflower seed oils, plus pomegranate and ginger root. Mm, yes, it is very soft. So like I said, this is not the brand to get if you want sparkle and shine. Like I said though, I'm not hating on it at all because I love stuff like this for when I just want an everyday look. So knowing that it is natural, I don't want it to like not show up. Ooh, that gold is pretty. There are six shades in the highlighter. It's $28. Um, so looks like you get a lot of product. It's a pretty big pan. So it looks like you get a lot of product. I mean, it's pretty. It's a pretty gold highlighter. But I like I like, I like like the, the, the stick highlighter better. This um, stick glow. I like this better. Obviously, if you're going for a little bit more glam, this would be, you know, the step up. I definitely like just the sticks, too. Oh, I have eyeshadow. Let's do eyeshadow first before we get on to the lip stuff. Um, this is the Flesh Color Eyeshadow Palette. It says it's a tidy, essential palette. Perfect neutral shades in matte, satin, and metallic, plus a flashy gold and a bright pink. This is $38. Um, this is, it's like a little book, which is cute. It does come with a little baby brush like this. I don't like brushes like this. I'm going to toss that. Oh, looks like a little bit of damage has been done. But this is what it the palette looks like. For the sake of the video... I am going to put some on, but I probably wouldn't buy this palette. I'm just going to let y'all know. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I would not buy this palette. I don't wear eyeshadows like that, so this isn't really appealing to me. I have so many. I, maybe it's because I have so many palettes already that I just feel like you really got to wow me with a, sh a shadow palette for me to get excited about it. I'm going to take this neutral shade. Just pop that in my crease area. These shadows are nice. They're blending nicely. They're not dusty or extra powdery or anything. I'm also gonna blend this darker brown under my eye. Let's be extra, why not? We ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna take a, a little tight brush like this and get this black in here to see how intense it is. Just to act as like an eyeliner. Okay, I'm gonna go back with that brown. We're real smoky now. Wasn't intending on doing that today. You know, sometimes you just gotta bring out, bring out the freak of the week. These shiny shades kind of look pretty. So I'm gonna put one of these on my lid area. And I'm just gonna use my finger to do that because I don't wanna use a brush. Whoa, that pretty, that pretty. And I'm going to use um, just a brush and I'm going to take, uh, what is this, Twitch? And I'm going to apply that to the top of this just to give it some gloss. This brand reminds me a lot of a neutral milk makeup. I'm feeling a little bold, just a tiny bit bold. I'm gonna use this little brush with this color right here, or in my inner corner, just to give a little pop of some. Cause it's really pretty. And I feel like I can't not, I can't do this makeup look and not use it. There are no brows products, so I'm going to do my brows. All right, brows are done. So they're a little thick, just a little bit. So we've got fleshly lips. We've got swipe flesh lip color, which is a compact that holds rich color with a satin, almost matte finish. No glosses, um, but there is the eye and cheek gloss. I don't know if that can go on the lips. Oh, it can't. The eye and cheek gloss goes on the lips. Um, I don't have that, which makes me sad because I wanted a gloss. Um, they did send me two of the liquid lip colors in these shades. Not really feeling these two shades. Um, they sent me these two shades of the 
um, Fleshly Lips. Uh, these two shades of the Swipe Flesh lip colors. And then in the Strong Flesh lipsticks, lipsticks, we have these two shades. Because of what I put on my eyes, I'm gonna go for a more neutral color, obviously. So I'm gonna either do Gorge, which is the Fleshly Lips, or I'm gonna do the Swipe Lips in Swollen. This is the Fleshly Lips. I'm gonna do that one first because it's like more sheer, I think. Like I said, these are $18 and they're four shades. This is what it looks like. And this is supposed to be like a your lips but better situation. Um, like this, uh, that's gonna be like really red on me. Let me see. Oh, yeah, girl. Yeah, I don't, mm. I'm actually going to pull a Rihanna since I'm not seeing any colors that are really standing out to me. Um, like I'm going to use this one since I used it on my eyes and on my face. I'm going to put it on my lips. And then I'm going to go over top of that with this innovative guys. You got to get innovative. I think I did something here. It kind of gives the glossy look without being glossy, but I like it though. Mm. Like I said, I don't have a problem with anything. I think this stuff is cool. It is giving me something different than what other brands usually come out with. But I think that now that I'm getting older, I don't know, I've become a bit more low maintenance with my makeup. And so this to me, it gives me lower maintenance vibes. I'm gonna put some of this on my chest as well, just because I really like this stick. I think my favorite thing out of everything would be this stick right here. Um, Twitch, I love this one. I wanna see what it looks like on my body. Cause you know, like Fenty stuff, I typically put that on my body as well. Um, so like the highlighters, I love to wear on my body. Yes, highlight come through. And it's not sticky to the touch either. I feel like if I rubbed up against somebody, they wouldn't be extra shimmery and shiny, but it still gives a nice glow. Yeah, that that is all for my um, Flesh Beauty trying everything from that line. Other than that, I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!